Hi, we're going to see the basics of Windows 10 operating system. Okay, so as you see here, this is the Windows 10 interface or desktop. Okay, so to confirm that this is the Windows 10, we should go to this icon. As you see, we have here this PC or computer and right click. As you see and then go to properties okay and as you see we have windows 10 professional okay so this is the microsoft corporation okay so this is the processor as you see okay this is as you see here we have the type of processor we have intel core e3 okay this is 300 or 3217 means the third generation okay this is the speed of the processor okay in gigahertz okay 1.8 and this is the installed memory as you see we have here 4 gig okay or 4 gigabyte okay and this is the system type 32 bit operating system because there is two kinds of systems 32 bit and 64 bit okay so always the system type of the operating system is according to the cpu if we have the cpu or the processor a 32 bit processor you should install a 32 bit operating system and if you have a 64 bit processor you have to or you should install the 64 bit operating system okay so now we will go step by step and see the windows 10 operating system essentials okay so as you see here this is the windows 10 operating system interface so we have here some applications as you see for example this is the acrobat reader so this is an application this is the photoscape we have google chrome firefox this is the vlc media player this is the player that we use to read the videos and this is the notepad plus plus okay and we have here the recycle bin okay so you can move this application to anywhere in the desktop or in the computer interface as you see okay so you can organize it as you want okay so this is the recycle bin as you see here this is the recycle bin okay so let's open it so this is the recycle bin as you see here okay so so we have here the folder is empty as you see so let's for example delete let's create for example a folder so let's double click and the new okay let's create for example this folder so we have a new folder and as you see the recycle bin right now is empty but if we select or we delete this folder by double click over it and go to delete okay as you see we have here delete as you see the folder is deleted and goes to the recycle bin now let's open the recycle bin so we have the new folder okay so we can empty the recycle bin okay or we can restore this folder if i click as you see here if i click restore and press yes as you see this is the folder the folder is restored okay but if i click delete again I have the folder here so let's empty the recycle bin click empty over here so empty and click yes as you as you see here are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder yes so the folder is deleted completely and the recycle bin is empty okay so let's create a folder so to create a folder or a file or for example 
an Excel or Word or PowerPoint file, you should just double click as you see here and go to new as you see we have here new okay and we have folder so new folder as you see we create a new folder you can rename it so for example let's say first for example my first my first folder okay as you see okay my first folder so this is my first folder that I create you can create other things for example so let's go to new and for example we can create let's see the Microsoft Word document okay we have here Microsoft Word document so let's click Microsoft Word document as you see we have a, a Microsoft Word document we create this Microsoft Word document we can create other tags for example you can create Microsoft PowerPoint presentation or Microsoft publisher document or archive winra text document okay we have here text document leaks let's for example create text document as you see so we have text document over here you can open it and write or anything you want okay as you see you can write anything you want okay so this is a text document okay and you can just press here for example and choose over here save okay so so if you write anything you should press file and then save okay save as you see now the text is saved let's open it again so we have our text here okay and you can create for example the microsoft excel worksheet okay so let's click here as you see we have here new microsoft excel as you see okay so using this the right click and then new option you can create anything you want in this list okay so let's right now see the other options in the right click so right click so here view you can made this icons large icons medium icons right now this icons is medium or even small icons here we have aligned icons to grid okay using this option i can align these icons manually but if you use this auto arrange icons you cannot align these icons manually okay we have here show desktop icons because we check this these icons are now visible to us so let's try to remove this sign so and check as you see the icons is or are disappears why because we check this show desktop icons and check it so let's check it again as you see the icons now is visible okay so let's pass to the new or the next option so we have here sort by name you can sort these icons or folders or files by name or by size okay the capacity or by item type folder files winner etc and by date modified okay here we have and new so by pressing in the keyboard control plus z you will undo okay you will go to the previous action okay so here we have new so as we see before new you can create a new folder a new file a new word document new access database powerpoint presentation microsoft publishing document text document etc okay here we have the display setting here we have the display setting so let's click over here so let's wait until the display setting is appeared 
as you see so we have the display sitting over here so let's let's fit this window okay so this is the display sitting as you see here okay so we have display rearrange your display as you see here okay so we have here the brightness and color you can adjust the brightness and color over here we have here the night light you can uh, check or uncheck the night light okay so and we have windows hd color scale as you say here we have scale multiple display etc and over here of course we have the display the sound options notifications and actions options the focus assist power and sleep if you will click for example let's click for example over here power and sleep option so over here as you see power and sleep we have the screen on battery power turn off after so on the battery the screen if you have a laptop on the battery the screen will shut down after two hours but we can for example put here after 10 minutes okay so let's choose two hours okay here we have we plug it in turn off after so we plug it in the screen will shut down after two hours or after any time you want or you can choose never okay you can choose never okay so let's choose just two hours here we have sleep so on battery so always we have here on battery power and here we have we plug it in so on battery power pc goes to sleep after two hours you can choose any option over here you can choose never or two minutes or ten minutes etc the same here when plug it in pc goes to sleep after so you can choose anything you want over here let's choose for example after one hour for example okay here we have additional power setting let's click here additional power setting okay so over here we have additional power setting change plan setting as you see so we have here additional power setting okay so for example turn off the display after two minutes i will change this to 15 minutes okay and in plugging in after one hour put the computer to sleep after after two hours okay it's good here we have change advanced power setting if we click here we have more advanced power setting as you see here we have for example for the hard disk okay this is the setting for the hard disk okay so turn off hard disk after 100 minutes okay you can change here you can put for example 110 for example minutes and here in plug it in 100 minutes and here we have the desktop so the desktop background setting okay so here we have slide show let's so on battery pause it plug it in available we have here wireless adapter setting we have sleep okay sleep after so the computer will sleep after two hours as you see 100 minutes you can't change this okay you can just click over you can for example uh right here for example 60 minutes okay and press enter okay so as you see we have sleep so sleep after 60 minutes okay so here we have usb setting you can adjust the usb setting here so on battery so usb selective spend setting on battery enabled plug it in enabled you can choose disabled okay over here you can disable the usb okay so here we have the anti-air graphic setting as you see here we have the power button and lead so let's lead close action power button action so the power button on battery shut down the power button action if you press the power button on battery the computer will shut down and using the adapter also the computer will shut down okay so sleep button action pc express this is 
uh, the connector, the PC, the PCI connector. We have processor power management. Okay, we have minimum processor state, system calling policy. Okay, so on battery passive, plugged in active. Okay, we have here the display. So turn off display after. So on battery two minutes. So let's change this to to ten minutes. Okay, then then press apply okay so here we have the multimedia city and the battery city as you see so critical battery notification so on battery on we have critical battery action low battery level so the low battery level when the battery goes so when the battery goes to know the battery is 100 percent fully charged but when the battery goes to 10 percent or in 10% low battery level a message or a notification will pops up saying to me the battery is low okay and here we have critical battery level as you see in 5% the same principle okay here we have low battery notification or and low battery action reserve battery level etc okay so this is all about the battery and the power setting and here you can restore the default setting for this plan you can just click over here okay are you sure you want to restore this plan's default setting so if you make many changes here and you want to restore the default setting just click over here and then click yes okay so this is for the power and sleep here we have battery storage also this is for storage tablet mode etc so, so for storage for example so we have here storage as you see this is a windows 10 professional 32 bit okay this is the c partition okay this is the capacity of this hard disk partition so the storage as you see here this is how your storage is used and how you can free up space so here this is just if you want to look to the parts that contain many applications for example for the apps applications and features it takes 13.7 gigabytes okay for the documents okay it takes 1.96 gigabytes okay or do desktop okay 1.337 gigabyte others as you see and temporary file so for the desktop for example it takes this capacity so to reduce this we should delete the files and folders existing in the desktop okay so let's dive in device manager so let's click in the device manager okay so this is the device manager parts okay as you see here so we have here the audio inputs and outputs the batteries bluetooth computer disk drives display adapters human interface devices keyboard mice and other pointer devices we have here the monitor network adapters okay we have other devices so i have a problem in this device i should install the driver okay and now device i should install the driver because we have this error sign over here okay so here we have the parts so this is the lpt okay the printer parts okay we have here the print codes processor sd host adapters software devices sound video and game controllers storage controllers like the hard disk drive okay so this is Intel chipset SHGR okay RAID controller okay so Microsoft storage space controller okay so we have here the system devices and universal serial bus controller this is the USB as you see USB connector so let's go and see one of this for example let's go and see this audio input and outputs okay so here we have the microphone okay we have two microphone because we have two microphones so this is the microphone for the laptop the laptop i use and this is an external 
microphone because I use external microphone okay and here we have speakers okay speakers as you see high definition audio device so for example for speakers if I want for example to know about the driver of this of speakers so I should just right click over here as you see so we have these options we have update the driver so I can click here to update the driver okay so let's click here so as you see I have here two options okay so update drivers speakers we have here how do you want to search for drivers here automatically using the internet okay search automatically for updated driver software or browse my computer for driver software so if I have the driver the updated driver in my computer okay I can use this option okay if I want to search it automatically in the internet I should use this option okay so let's see other options here we have disabled device so if I click disable device the speakers will be disabled here we have uninstall device I can uninstall the driver of this device here we have scan for hardware changes okay if there is a change if for example you install another operating system you should make this this scan in order to search for a hardware changes okay here we have properties okay for the speakers so let's see the properties here we have so general driving detail and events as you see so here we have this device is working properly so the speaker device is now working properly if there is a problem in this here we can see another message okay failed or something like that if we go here this is driver okay so this is the speaker this is the driver provider microsoft driver date as you see the date of driver so driver version this is the version of driver okay here we have driver detail update driver we can also use this you can uh, update the driver using this or disable the device or uninstall the device okay here we have details as you see we have here details this is device description audio and point so if you search for example the driver for this device for speakers and you don't find it for example in the network you can use an asterisk over here you can just click in this row and go as you see you have here a lot of options here so go to hardware id okay as you see hardware id okay over here and click over here as you see this is the hardware id okay you can use this to download the driver this is the hardware id so let's try another for example let's go to for example display adapter here and this is the graphic card okay uh, driver so let's double click or right click go to properties and go to detail and go to driver id as you see for this for the graphics okay the graphic card it has four id so you can just click right click and copy as you see like this and you can go to internet for, so as you see let's create a new text document okay so let's open it okay, and then press paste as you see this is the id so you can use this id okay to download the driver for the graphic card okay so don't save and also you can use other ids because we have here four ids okay so the same principle for example for let's try another for example the network adapter so for example the bluetooth device for bluetooth for example if i have for example a problem in my bluetooth device i can just right click here and go to properties for example and detail and then go here and check the hardware id as you see and as you see this is the id i can just copy the, this id and go to google okay and paste it in the google and look for the adequate and compatible driver okay now let's go and see the disk management so the disk management so let's click over here the disk management is the window that gives to us the partition okay the hard disk drive partition as you see so over here we have 
basically we, ha we have two partitions so because if we go here to the PC or the computer and open it so we have the three main partition as you see we have the C partition and the D partition okay so here we have the D partition and the C partition but we have this partition is for the system as you see system reserved okay so you can do many things using this disk management window for example if i click right click over here i can open the partition i can explore it i can mark partition as active change the drive later and path now we have here d i can change the driver later okay i can format the partition but pay attention with this option okay because if you press format you will delete all information in this partition here we have shrink volume you can shrink volume so you can divide this partition if you press shrink volume as you see so query volume for a variable shrink space as you see so we have here the shrink the total size before shrink in motherboard uh, here we have size of available shrink space in megabytes okay now here in megabyte enter the amount of space to shrink in megabyte okay so if you want to shrink this you can just enter so the amount of space you want and then press shrink okay so here we have delete volume you can delete it or you can see its properties okay so as you see here so this is its properties you see use space so 21.3 gigabyte and free space this is the free space as you see so with the blue this is the used space and this is the free space okay so you can render this cleanup by pressing this okay the same for the c partition as you see so we have mark partitions active change revelator etc okay so this is all about the disk management of course the same here okay as you see we have c partition d partition and system reserve the same as you see if i click over here as you see the same option we're going okay. to see dx diag okay so we're going to see some astios and tips to know about the information of your computer okay the ram random access memory the cpu okay the graphic card etc so let's get started so first it's easy so you can just go to start menu okay and then go to windows system as you see here so let's click this small row and here we have run okay so let's click run okay as you see this is the run window okay we can here type the name of a program or a folder or document or even a command so let's type here dx diag okay dx diag okay as you see and press enter okay let's wait a moment until the dx diag window pops up so so this is our window as you see here so this is the dx diag diag means diagnostic tool so as you see here we have here system okay as you see system the tabs display sound and input here this is the date of today here we have the name of my computer okay as you see here we have the operating system installed in this computer we have windows 10 professional the system is 32 bit because there is a 64 operating system and a 32 operating system for me in my computer i have the 32 operating system okay so the language as you see here system manufacturer this is dell my computer is dell this is the model latitude 32 30 okay this is the bios okay the version of bios is e 04.00 or point up zero okay 
this is my processor okay this is the processor we have here the type or the model of processor i have the i3 okay 300-3270u okay so dash 3000 means this is the third generation okay so this is 1.8 gigahertz okay this is the speed of the processor so the processor is four cpus okay this is the memory the physics memory as you see four thousand ninety six megabyte means four gigabyte okay here this is the page file this is the direct version this is direct 12 okay i can go to the next page now the next page is about the display information okay so we have the name of the graphic card this is intel okay graphics 4000 the manufacturer this is intel okay here we have the approximative total memory this is 1757 megabyte okay so this is all about my graphic card here we have sound okay so the speakers the name of speaker this is the hardware id okay if you want to install the driver for example okay and here we have imports etc okay so this is the direct diagnostic tool okay so let's see another tool that gives to us the same information but in other manner so let's go to start menu and then go to Windows administrative tools, okay. So for the RAM window to use the di diagnostic, we use the RAM, but now we will use the Windows administrative tools, okay. So let's click over here. So we have here a lot of options. So let's go to system information, as you see. So let's click here, as you see. So as you see, this is the system information okay the same principle so here we have the system summary we have the hardware resources components and software environment okay as you see so here we have system summary so as you see the same we have the os or operating system name microsoft windows 10 pro we have the version okay this is the system model this is my computer model okay so this is the processor model okay and of course here we have the ram as you see here this is the ram so installed physical memory is 4 gig or 4 gigabytes okay etc system information tool is the same as diagnostic tool okay of course i want to add that you can't just instead of going here going to so windows system and then choose run window as you see here you can just click from the keyboard windows plus r key okay as you see and we have the run window pops up okay so let's continue so here we have so a right click we say before the display setting let's go now to personalize so using personalize you can change the background image okay or the background team so let's click personalize so as you see as you see here so we have here many backgrounds okay we have many backgrounds over here and we have many color let's for example choose this so let's click here as you see so we choose this background as you see here we have this background so let's go to our default background so right click personalize and then let's choose this okay as you see so we have this background so to change the background of your computer use the personalized option okay 
Now let's see the options that appears when we double click over a folder or a file. Okay, so here when we double click in this empty place, we have these options, but if we double click over as you see over a folder we have other options so let's double click we have my first folder double click as you see we have all these options okay other options as you see we have open so you can just click this to open the folder pin to quick access you can use this to pin the folder to quick access Okay, so quick access is over here. So let's open this folder. Open. So we have here the quick access, as you see. Quick access here. This is a quick access. Okay. So right click. So here add to VLC media player. So you can you can add this folder to this player. Okay, VLC media player using this. Or you can play with VLC Media Player if this folder contains music or video. So give access to, you can use this to give access to, remove access, or home group, specific people, etc. So you can restore the previous version. Okay, restore previous versions. If you have a previous versions, here you can scan this folder. So scan selected item for viruses using this antivirus. For me, I have this antivirus Avast. Okay. Next, we have here include a library. A library. You can include this folder to do library, as you see, to document the music, pictures, videos, or create a new library. Okay. Here we have pin to start you can pin this folder to start okay we have here start as you see okay so here we have send to so you can send to this folder to by bluetooth device to compress it or zip it folder desktop create a shortcut to document fax recipient mail recipient okay here we have cut you can cut this folder so if i press cut as you see the folder is cutted now if i go to another folder for example so let's create another folder so if i enter to this folder and press and paste as you see the folder is disappear and now it is here in this file okay so let's put it here and remove this okay so right click delete okay so next we have copy copy you can just copy it okay just copy it create a shortcut delete you can delete it using this option rename so let's rename for example if you click here you can rename it okay so first for folder or file as you see okay and we have here properties if you click properties as you see this is the properties of this folder as you see first file properties we have here general as you see this is the type of folder the location so the location is in c partition user pro desktop so this is the desktop okay the size is zero bytes because this folder doesn't contain any file any tanks okay this is the size on disk zero bytes contains zero file and zero folder okay as you see zero file and zero folder if for example so let's for example move this inside this folder now this folder contains one item okay so double click properties as you see so contains one file okay one file okay and the size change it to 77 bytes okay so we have here other options okay you can customize this folder okay so you can add a specific icon to this 
folder you can customize it so you can go here to change okay so let's start again so double click properties okay and then go to customize and then change icon and you can change any icon over here okay so for example let's change this and then press ok and apply and then ok as you see okay the icon is changed let's try another again properties and go to customize and change icon and for example let's see that this folder is for for example for example for music okay this folder i will use this folder for music so i will i will for example choose this this icon and then press ok and apply and then ok as you see this is a music icon okay so properties so we have a sharing security previous version and customer we have here advanced so you can choose attribute you can use this hidden if you press hidden and press apply the folder will be hidden okay and here we have advanced option okay we have some advanced option over here okay so the same thing for this the other file so right click as you see so right click as you see okay the same principle and the same options okay we want to see the manage option okay so let's get started so let's go here this is this pc okay or the computer and right click over here and as you see here we have manage okay so let's click manage and uh, let's wait a little bit until the manage window pops up as you see here so we have here the manage window okay or the computer management window okay as you see here so we have computer management okay so we have some tabs as you see we have file action view and help here we have task scheduler event viewer shared folders local user and groups over here you can use this option to create a password or to manage your local users and groups okay so here we have performance okay if we click over here as you see as you see here we have the performance okay overview of performance monitor okay so here we have some the system summary okay as you see this is the memory okay as you see the memory available megabytes this is the available megabytes okay here we have the network interface as you see over here okay this is my network card okay as you see here so here we have the physical disk okay this is idle time okay so this is average disk q length okay here we have the processor information enter up time processor time okay and packing status so this is just a system summary okay here we have the device manager and the disk manager we will talk about these two tools this is a very important tool now let's go and see the taskbar as you see this is the taskbar as you see over here this is the taskbar so the taskbar contain here the start button as you see this is the start button we will see this button and all these options in detail okay so the taskbar contains start button as you see here okay and contain the research icon over here as you see you can research for, for anything you want so let's try an example for example let's research so first as you see here we have first file so let's let's for example look for first file so let's write here first okay first file as you see i have here first file this is first file and this is the path of the first file so i have here so as you see here we have c users pro desktop first file as you see so exactly it finds this this file okay 
it finds this file okay so here as you see here we have the task view okay here we have calculator here we have so this is the file explorer and this is some applications like excel word powerpoint and this is a player the windows media player we have here the google chrome we have the, here the vlc and other applications so you can easily pin or unpin for example this is excel okay i can just double click over it and choose unpin from taskbar as you see so the excel application is disappear i can do the same for the word double click and pin from taskbar for the powerpoint double click okay and pin from taskbar and to pin this application back just i can for example as you see i have here the new microsoft excel worksheet i can just drag it over here okay and put it here as you see pin to excel as you see so i have here excel the same for the word for example so drag it to the taskbar as you see we have pin to word okay so now for the powerpoint i don't have here powerpoint so let's double click and then new and the microsoft powerpoint presentation okay and let's drag it to here as you see pin to powerpoint as you see so that's it okay so you can pin or unpin any application to the taskbar let's try for the vlc for example so double click as you see and pin from, from taskbar okay so here we have the notification this is the notification list okay this is the time and the date okay here we have the language okay you can choose the language over here here we have here the speaker or the volume if i click over here as you see you can increase or decrease the volume here we have the battery as you see fully charged 100 percent and here we have the opened application okay for example the bluetooth okay we have here the antivirus as we see avast antivirus you are protected okay and for example this is another application print screen etc okay so you can remove anything you want over here so this is the taskbar so you can pin or unpin anything you want so let's for example pin this you can just drag it to the taskbar and let it as you see we have here the acrobat reader is pinned to remove it just double click and unpin the application okay going to see some office applications microsoft office applications so we will begin with microsoft excel okay so as you see over here i have here the file the microsoft excel file this is an empty file so i can just click over here or i can click here because i already pin the microsoft excel file here or simply i can right click new okay and as you see here we have microsoft excel worksheet so let's simply click in the taskbar microsoft excel so here we go so let's just adjust this window so as you see this is the microsoft excel worksheet okay as you see here so we have here the sheet or the worksheet as you see with this this we call this cells okay this is cells okay and this is column so this is column and this is row okay so row column and cell and this is range okay this is a range okay so two cells can be named range or three cells or even this cells like this okay so this is cell okay 
So this is range, and this is the row, and this is the column, okay? So over here, we have the sheet number one, okay? So we can add other sheets by pressing this plus sign, okay? So let's try it. So plus, as you see, the sheet number two, plus the sheet number three, plus number four, etc. okay? So over here, we can zoom in and zoom out, okay? As you see, zoom in and zoom out. As you see, now the cells are very small, okay? So let's zoom in, as you see, like this. So let's go to 100%, as you see, so now it's normal, okay? So this is row, column, cell, range. Here we, over here we have sheets, okay? So over here, this is a scroll bar. You, we can use this. If we have a lot of data in this worksheet, you can use this to scroll, as you see, like this. Here we have other, so this is the normal representation. Here we have, so the page layout, let's click over here. As you see, now the worksheet will be presented like this, okay? The page layout, as you see, you have header, etc. okay? This so using this as you see the worksheet becomes like this but this is the normal state we will work with this normal state okay so here we have some letter as you see we have so let's go to the first cell as you see we have a b c d a f g etc and here we have numbers okay so let's zoom in a little bit so here we have numbers as you see one two three four etc so for example for this cell the name of this cell is this as you see c3 as is so if i change the cell as you see we have d3 okay we have here a3 and we have f3 etc so the name of every cell in this worksheet is the intersection okay the intersection of the column and row okay so this is the intersection we have here f3 okay so this is the intersection so the cell the name of the cell is f3 okay so let's try this for example so this is g14 as you see we have here g and we have here 14 okay so we will use this names to do some calculation in Microsoft Excel. For example, if I have, for example, here in this cell, for example, so this is F3, for example, if I have here the number 10, and for example, in this cell over here, for example, this is H, as you see, H3. For example, I have here 20, okay? So, and I want to sum these two cells. What should I do? Now, let's add a color here. In order to, to in order to distinguish the sum cell, so if I press in and press equal and sum, this is the sum function, for example. Okay, so we have here sum. So to sum these two cells or these two numbers, I should know the name of every cell. So sum of what of this? This is what this is f three. So I can just right here f3 okay so and the comma or semicolon and the name of the cell is h3 so let's write here h3 okay h3 and then close parentheses and then press enter as you see i have here 30 so 30 is what this is the description 30 is the sum of f3 so this cell as you see this is f3 plus this h3 exactly as you see f3 and h3 okay that's why we should know about cells and name of cells so let's if we change for example any number over here the result will be changed okay so let's put for example here 100 okay 100 okay as you see so this is 120 if we put here for example 300 for example we have here 400 so the result is automatically changed when we change this inputs okay so now 
we know about the name of the cells okay and we know that the cell is the intersection of column and the rows okay so let's now see other things in this worksheet so this is the tabs as you see here this is the microsoft excel tabs as you see this is the file tab okay this is the home tab this is the insert tab page layout formulas data review etc so for the home tab for example this is the home tab ribbon okay so this is the, the tab as you see home insert page la page layout formulas etc and this is the ribbon now this is the home tab ribbon as you see and this is the insert tab ribbon okay this is the formulas ribbon okay so let's go back to the home tab so this is the home tab ribbon and this is the home tab groups as you see you have here the clipboard the font alignment number styles etc okay so this is groups okay each ribbon contains mini groups okay so for the font group itself it contains mini tools as you see so for example let's let's make some changes here in this so by highlighting this or selecting this cell or this number i can make it bold as you see or italicized i can make it italic or or underline okay i can over here increase the font size as you see or here decrease the font size okay here i can change the color of so the color of the number okay as you see let's for example put this color or the blue color for example and here i have the fill color i can change the color of the cell itself okay let's for example put this the yellow okay so this is the group and this is the tools in this group here i can make some borders okay now the cell has not any border okay but here i can let's first highlight the cell and then go here as you see we have border as you see bottom border so let's for example click any border over here you want for example let's let's choose this tick outside borders okay let's choose this as you see now i have the tick outside border okay i can choose for example just a normal border for example like this outside borders okay? as you see here okay so so here we have this for example for the clipboard we have this tool i like this tool very much this is the format painter you can read the description over here so like like the look of a particular selection you can apply the look to other content in the document so for example i like this for formatting over here and i want that this cell also have the same formatting so if i go step by step using these tools it will take a lot of time so simple if i want to format this with this let's just select the origin formatting and then go to format printer as you see now it's selected and then go here and press it as you see so we format this with the same parameters okay we can do the same for this so let's just select this okay and then go to printer okay and click over here as you see it's okay so this is just a part of the home tab so here we have insert as you see insert tab and we have here the insert tab ribbon and we have a lot of groups over here as you see we have tables as in charts as you see you can add a charts if you want for example if you have a table for example let's assume that we have here some item a and here we have for example b okay some so here we have some numbers over here okay you have some numbers okay and here also we have other numbers for example 
just an example okay so 80 for example 90 10 20 etc so for example we want let's first center this we can go to home home tab okay and then go to center okay as you see center so align to the left center align to the right okay etc this is the home tab group or the alignment group we have here a lot of things here okay so if we want for example to make a chart for this table we can just go to insert tab and then first let's select first let's select any cell in our table okay and then go to insert tab and then charts and you can choose any charts over here okay for example let's just choose a normal okay a normal like this one for example okay let's move this chart to this part as you see so as you see here so we have chart title why we have two bars so this the blue bars okay for this this is for blue bars we have 12 25 for this column okay as you see here okay so we have here a as you see a blue for a we have a column okay and we have b column as you see b with this color as you see okay so this is the chart you can of course here we have a lot of styles over here and also you can go and change the chart for example you can change the normal chart to do d to the pie chart for example or this for example or other like for example this line line chart for example or 3d line okay as you want okay so and here we have other of course other tabs we have page layout we have here formulas okay here we have a lot of formulas as you see this is all to some formulas we have some average count numbers max mean and you can click here and see more function we have here so like this is the recently used formulas we have here the financial formulas logical formulas text formulas date and time lookup references math and trigger okay so let's let's uh, try some formulas for example let's try here the sum okay let's so here let's write here sum okay so or let's remove this this chart okay so and here let's for example try the sum the sum formula okay and try the average okay average so the average formula and let's, let's try for example count formula okay count and max okay max formula and the mean for example mean so for example the so to to sum to sum so to sum these numbers we can just click over here and then write equal sign and then sum okay as you see sum so double click so we have here the description of the sum formula so number one number two etc but for me i will just select all these cells as you see so from k5 as you see this is the k the first cell is the k5 okay so from k5 okay to k8 as you see the last cell in this range is k as you see k8 okay and then close parentheses and press enter as you see so the sum of these numbers is 114 we can do the same for this or just we can drag this here and we have the sum of this so to verify if the sum of these numbers is is effectively 200 let's sum one by one so equal equal so 80 as you see we have here 80 okay so 80 plus so we have here 90 okay plus 10 and plus 20 okay so and press enter so we have way handled okay
Microsoft Word. So let's double click here or just one click here in the taskbar. Okay. So this is the Microsoft Office Word. So as you see here, slightly is the same working principle. Okay, the same working principle as Excel that we see in the previous lecture okay so this is the microsoft word interface so here we have tabs as you see this is the home tab this is the home tab ribbon and this is groups okay so some groups are the same as microsoft excel groups okay so we have here insert tab we have the design tab okay we have here the mailing as you see this tab exists just in the microsoft word I have the review tab, view tab, help, etc. Okay, so let's go to home tab. So always every Microsoft Excel or Word or PowerPoint user use a lot this tab, the home tab. For example, if we write here, for example, Windows, for example, Windows 10. Okay, so let's change the language. Okay, Windows. 10 okay so we have here windows 10 as you see so i can make many changes here so i can just highlight it and i have here a quick interface where i can choose anything i want for example bold italic size underline for example i can increase the font size of my text okay or decrease it okay so over here also i can choose any size i want okay as you see okay for example let's choose 36 so here i have the idle font okay or the team font i can choose this for example arial arial black i can choose this for example or this okay so here i have a lot of options and a lot of tools in the font group so we have the home tab the font group and tools okay so let's for example add let's give a color to our text so let's first highlight it and then we can choose over here any color you want okay as you see okay so you can align to the left or to the right or to the center as you see so align the text to the left center or to the right okay let's make it to the center or to the left you can over here add a bullet as you see like this or number okay or like this if you want to to make it multi-level list okay so let's just choose a bullet okay as you see here so here we have a lot of options as you see okay here we have insert you can insert anything you want you can insert for example picture shapes okay you can insert any shape you want over here for example you can insert this row over here for example as you see okay and you can change its color okay you can make it like this we have here many styles or this for example you can change the color okay for example let's choose this color okay as you see you can change the size of the arrow okay or the rotation its orientation okay so i we have here in the world a lot of options you can also change the weight okay make it a thin or a smaller or a tick row etc okay so and here we have a lot of tabs so this is just an overview about the microsoft world okay the microsoft powerpoint application okay so let's click over here in our application in the taskbar just one click and let's see what is the features and what is the working principle of this application so as you see here this is the microsoft powerpoint interface okay as you see here or dashboard so always we have here the tabs as you see for example let's 
right here for example okay windows always windows 10 because our topic is windows 10 so let's remove this for for now let's remove this okay okay and then let's drag this here over here so let's drag it over here so we can of course add a color let's make it for example red and bold and then underline it okay so let's add other slides for example this is a slide this is another slide and let's for example add some picture okay let's add another slide okay so now we have here four slide so here let's add some picture so let's delete this i don't want this okay so let's add some picture so for example let's add for example this picture for example now just hold it and drag it to our application and just as you see here so we have our picture here so shift and press shift and you can change the size of this picture for example to fit to our slide for example okay it's okay so let's add another picture over here in order to see the working principle of the PowerPoint okay so let's remove this so this is our picture as, as you see here okay so this is our picture let's let's add another so let's remove this first in order to see the animation and the transition okay so let's go here and add for example another picture for example let's add this for example okay so good now i have here four slides okay so let's make let's for example let's insert here first insert something here so let's go to shape and insert for example any tag we want for example for example like this one okay and uh, make it for example like this or this let's insert other shape for example for example let's insert this okay okay so now let's add some other some transition for example to pass from this slide to this slide i want to apply this transition for example or this or this okay so let's choose for the first slide choose this i want this okay so this now for the second slide i will choose another transition for example okay for example let's see this random okay or shape okay this i like this so let's pass to the third slide and see other transition over here so this for example okay i like this okay now go to the last slide and see other transition this okay good so now i make a transitions over here now let's click here as you see this is the slideshow and see our powerpoint show okay so let's click here as you see this is our powerpoint just you can click just using the mouse the left click of the mouse or the space bar in the keyboard on the arrow or enter so i will click using my mouse okay left click so as you see okay next slide next slide okay i can go back to the first slide as you see okay okay so my powerpoint application show works properly okay so i will just click escape okay escape and i have my powerpoint in this state okay so this is just the working principle of the powerpoint application so we have here tabs the same logic like excel and words we have here tabs and we have 
for example, the home tab, we have here the ribbon. Okay, each tab has its ribbon. And in each ribbon, we have a lot of groups, as you see. And in the PowerPoint application, you can use design, as you see. We can, of course, I like this. So, for example, you can choose any design you want for your slides. For example, let's choose this or this, for example. Now, all slides takes this design, okay? Or let's choose another this, for example, as you see, or even this. Okay, or, so let's go to, to the slides and, for example, this this let's try this so this one for example okay i like this one okay so this is our powerpoint slides okay so we have transition design animation slideshow etc okay so this is just an overview about the microsoft powerpoint application okay